Alright, what's going on everybody? This week I don't have a script because I didn't feel like writing one, so I'm just going to talk and explain to you what's going on. So if there's a lot more cuts, that's why. So I finally finished building the second prototype. I got it as done as it was going to get. Um, but when I was running the first couple of tests, I realized there's a kind of a big problem. It's kind of like a project stopping problem. So I had to step back and rework the whole thing. So the current system that I'm using is uh, two different pistons that are tied together with a belt. And one side is driven with a lead screw. And this ties the two of them together almost exactly. So the idea was the layer would drop down by one layer height and because they're tied together the reservoir side would lift up by one layer height and then a roller would come through and spread the powder from the reservoir to uh, the layer. This worked really well in the early tests with the first prototype and I'll get into why I think that happened but it did not work really well in uh, this version of it. Since the beginning of the project people have been talking about this kind of stuff on the Discord. And now that I have a need for something like that, I decided to implement one of the more simple solutions. So the solution I decided to go with is based off of something that uh, one of the guys in the Discord came up with that he loosely based on the marble drops that Wintergotten uses on the MMX. This will let me drop an even amount of powder each layer onto uh, the print, and then I can use the same roller to level out the powder then. He wanted to be a part of the Patreon plug. So before I show you the new system, I wanted to tell you about my Patreon. Prototyping this printer is expensive and any support you can give is much appreciated. You can get rewards like behind the scenes content and early access to my videos, as well as your name in my videos like you can see here. The continued support of these people is what helps drive the creation of this printer. Thanks. So here's the new dropper mechanism mounted in place. These are all the iterations that I've done so far on this so i'm on my fourth version of this and each one is pretty hefty so it's been a lot of plastic wasted unfortunately so here i have it all hooked up i have uh, connected a proner face and sending the commands so here if i send to retract it servo retracts and that extends it all right let me get out some tin foil to catch the powder as it falls and then we can do a quick test of this all right i'm gonna hit go and let's see what happens that dropped a nice amount of powder, then it'll retract, and it dropped more powder, good. So I don't think you could see how the dropper was actually working in the actual print. So I brought you into Fusion here so you can see how it works and I could show you the actual linkage. So I have the servo mounted here. This joint is a little off just because I have spacers in the real world here that aren't here. You can see as the servo turns, it pushes this linkage out, which then pushes the dropper out and aligns this section here with the bottom holes. This is the, the, or, the orientation, so it aligns these bottom holes and the powder drops out. Then when it comes back, it pulls that back, and the same slider now aligns with these upper holes to be reloaded with powder for the next drop. I'll throw a color on here. There, there's matte black, so you can see right now, you don't see any black in here because it's aligned with this point where the powder drops in. And then you can see that it slides out and the powder would dump out here. I've modeled in an extra long hopper up here, so that way you can store more powder per print. I modeled with these dividers in it, and that, and that's so that if you're running a print that's just in the middle, you don't need to fill this whole thing with powder. You can put powder just in this middle section here, and it'll only fall down here, and it'll only be used here. So that way you can save on powder if you're not using the whole print bed. All right, so I just wrote a really quick uh, G-code script for this. 
and here I'll show you what the layer change operation will look like. So this will be right after a layer change. So the this this bin will drop down by whatever the layer height is, and then it'll do this. So it's homing. It's moving out into the drop position, dropping the powder, and then rolling it back. And then it'll stop there, or then it'll go through and do the rest of the laser. It'll it'll print the rest of the layers, is what I'm trying to say. So I have the x-axis homing just to keep it out of the way of the servo horn when that swings out. I'm able to retrofit this new powder drop into the current uh, frame. However, future prototypes will need a new frame that's more that, that's better suited to this. Um, but for now, what I'm doing should still work just fine. That's all I have for this week. Designing and mounting the dropper took a lot more trial and error than I was expecting and held up my production schedule quite a bit. Now that it's mounted though, I'm really liking the way things are shaping up. I don't think I've plugged the Discord yet, but that's the best way to get in touch with me directly and talk with other like-minded people. Plus, these videos are about two weeks behind the actual build, and if you want the most up-to-date status on the printer, that's the best way to get it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. If you want to follow the project, consider subscribing, and if you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave them in the comments down below, or better yet, join the Discord and leave it there. Thanks for watching.